What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and I thought it would be a great time to go through the WTA and ATP ranking points and explain a little bit about what's going on in 2021. When, what players are getting protected? What ranking points are being protected? Because the ATP and the WTA have slightly different ways of going about their ranking points and what points are actually going to be protected going into the new season. So let's start with the ranking points happening in 2021 for the ATP. So the ATP have guarded their points or protected the points from March 2019, and that will end in March 2021. So from Indian Wells 2019 all the way up to March the 1st, which is the week after the Australian Open, points will not be dropped during the first two months of 2021. So the points from the tournaments that you had a better result as, as a player, will be counted, but they won't count twice. So if you go to the Australian Open final two times in a row, it's only gonna count once. So if Dominic Team was gonna lose in the first round of the Australian Open in 2021, that wouldn't count as his best result. His best result, of course, was 2020 when he made the final. So that will count as his best result. Now the WTA have a slightly different system. Their ranking points were protected from March 2019, exactly like the ATP, but that ended at the end of 2020, December 2020. So as of the 1st of January 2021, points can be dropped. So Ash Barty, who made the semifinals of the Australian Open in 2020, if she loses first round, her first round will stick and that will be the result and she will lose a lot of ranking points. And the same as the men, the better result of the two played within the period of March 2019 and December 2020 will count. But basically, if you lose in the first round of any tournament this year, having made the final last year, you were gonna lose a lot of points. So different to the ATP, where they've protected the first couple of months, the WTA, everything's basically back to normal now. So there will be no points awarded at the Olympic Games, which makes sense because not everyone gets to play the Olympics. Of course, only a couple of players get to represent their countries, and usually it's the best players in the world representing their countries. Serbia, Spain, Djokovic, Nadal. So there you have it. So the ATP, they're protecting their players, and they're protecting the points for the first two months of 2021. March 1st, everything back to normal. WTA everything's back to normal now. So watch out. Sophia Kennan, Ash Barty, even Simona Halep, and Muguruza, who played well in Australia last year, they better play well this year. Otherwise, they're going to lose a lot of points if they lose early on in the rounds. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with this? If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below as well because it is a little bit confusing. The WTA ATP doing their own things. WTA is back to normal right now. ATP will be back to normal with the rankings on the 1st of March.